Andre Drummond's like getting a bunch of airtime and he's definitely loving it. So Andre Drummond, what we're hearing is drawing trade interest from the Celtics, Mavs, Lakers, Suns. All right. And this is coming from my coworker, Michael Scotto. What we're hearing with Drummond right now is Drummond's a guy that a lot of people want. And the way I see him, if he does, I mean, Drummond is a guy that around the league people are getting and he was a guy that the rockets tried making a run before getting steven adams and he's still a dominant rebounder averaging a career high 18.9 rebounds per 36 minutes and drummond has to answer the call by averaging 14 points and 17.4 rebounds in 27.7 minutes and seven starts now he's a guy that i think he's averaging what like eight and eight in like 15 minutes a night it's absurd what he's doing it's it's insane and obviously andre drummond doesn't have the foot speed like he used to but you're he's a guy that if you're looking around the nba and you're looking at all the teams like chicago he's only making i think 3.2 3.3 okay and if you're boston you can trade a, the whole thing with drummond is you're gonna have to give up picks all right and i'm all for trading for drummond because i think he could be especially on a team that has a dominant center he's a guy that you could you know it's gonna cost you multiple second round picks he's super popular especially for you know teams that are close to the apron or over the tax and he's still a good rebounder he's got the huge size and the thing with him is that you're not going to get a it's going to be a couple second round picks similar to thomas bryant i just when i look at this and the teams that we just listed off the celtics have the picks to do it the lakers do but the whole thing and the suns kind of like the mavs have the most assets because they can be like here's jane and hardy and couple seconds because i think they have the the most second round picks out of these teams so yeah i sit here and i'm like dallas could just literally be like here's seth curry and jane hardy or like yeah yeah so for me i think it's definitely the team that has the the potential to do a better deal is definitely the the dallas mavericks because unless like the lakers go hey are you interested in a package of Maxwell Lewis and Max Christie or like Maxwell Lewis and Christian Wood or Jackson Hayes or Christie and Jackson Hayes. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see those deals being the ones that like push the, you know, we're Denver, Denver. They had to give up one of their young guys, Phoenix, unless bull bull packaged with Damian Lee moves the needle. I just don't, or Jordan Goodwin. I just don't think the Suns are in a position to give up players. So that's my big thing. And then Boston, Unless they're going to give up one of those young guys and along the lines of Lamar Stevens packaged with Delano Banton or like Svi Mikhailu packaged with Sam Hauser, Jordan Walsh. I just don't know if the, the assets are there.